Diana. One day, you will become all that you dream of and more. And everything will be different. This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. You will become a legend. Exclusively on HBO Max, December 25th, rated PG-13. I don't really like snakes. I don't like them either. Please, Mr. Dundee. I'm not really Crocodile Dundee, you know. It's the character I play in the movies. He'll have that thing on the barbecue tonight. <laughs> Oops. I have news. The Queen of England wants to bestow you with a knighthood. I'm full. You're at the most successful independent film in history. I'm just going to say one word. Hose. I was uh, nominated for an Academy Award once. Couldn't have been acting. No offense. A legend returns. Paul Hogan. Paul Hogan. Paul Hogan. I love him. She loves you. So I thought Paul Hogan was already dead. Dead. And he's out to prove. We asked where the man from down under has been hiding. You have a knife, but mine's bigger. That's not the line. Yes, it That's is. That's not the line. I've been doing this for 20 years. I think I'd know. His legacy is more than a crock. I told the studio, we take a meeting. We want to introduce your son, a Dundee Jr. We have just the actor. Will Smith. <laughs> we know what you're thinking. Yeah. He's too old. No, that's not what I'm thinking. Grandpa, are you getting a knighthood? Yeah, maybe. You just try and behave. Come on, boys. <laughs> Crocodile Dundee star, Paul Hogan, tried to strangle a child today. Dad, you know no one thinks this stuff, right? Put me on one of them Tonight shows. Wow. Oh, Olivia! I'm doing this charity thinging at my neighbor's school. I need a favor. You better shape up. Cause I need a man. What the hell is this? And my heart is set on you. Get out the damn stage! Oh, you're going to hell now, buddy. Paul Hogan, Jacob E. Lordy, Chevy Chase, Olivia Newton-John, and John Cleese. John Cleese? I don't have my driver's license. You didn't just tell him you left it at home! No, I don't have a driving license. You, um, threw a deadly snake at a fifth grade teacher, attempted to beat up two children, and knocked out a nun. What am I forgetting here? The very excellent Mr. Dundee. I don't mean to be nosy, John, but uh, what happened after all your success? Well, you know, uh, alimony, parties, drugs, <laughs> gambling, prostitutes. No, no, I'm being silly. I never gamble. All right, all right. What is it? What's going on? Train derailed across the highway. If you are hearing this broadcast, seek shelter immediately. What do you think it is? No idea. Oh my god, John, go! Shut in the back! Cover Nathan! The only thing people want to talk about today is this interstellar comet called Clark. NASA is saying it appeared out of nowhere from like a different solar system. This is a fragment entering the lower atmosphere. Three. Two, one, an impact. What is the explosion? What's a chunk of rock? Rocks don't explode. <laughs> yeah, tell that to the dinosaurs. The sky's on fire. Come on, let's go. With the largest fragment expected to hit in less than 24 hours, space agencies are expecting an extinction-level event. The greatest chance of survival are the bunkers in Greenland. Where we're gonna go? Gotta go now. Okay. a brave guy, you know that? I swear I will get us into those bunkers. Because we're always gonna be together. Go, go, go! Greenland, rated PG-13. On demand everywhere December 18th. Yeah, hell.
hell are you doing here? I'm commissioned to this flight. Captain! We haven't got time for this right now. Put her in the sperry until we get up in the air. I'm supposed to guard this. I'll guard it for you. Contents are confidential. your name, honey? Flight Officer Garrett. Ain't no women in the air corps. I'm a flight mechanic and a pilot. You're not a pilot. You're a delivery girl. <laughs> Sir, requesting permission to fire on an enemy attacker. You wouldn't even know how to fire a gun. I was being polite. Ah! She hit it! She was right! Who the hell are you, Miss Garrett? What is she? Did you hear that? What the hell is that racket? There's something on top of the plane. Something on the goddamn charge! No! 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 Here they come! Regularity started with that package. <laughs> you have no idea how far I'll go. How did you get up here? <laughs> Welcome back to the party, baby. Strap in. Yes, ma'am. Dalvit Kadash Mirabha Dalmat Ivrak Yurutei Biamlich Malchutei Biatzmach Kulkanei Vitarev Mishifei Is anyone there? Slitvak you down here? There is something very, very wrong here. That's either. It's a... Spaceship. Coming back from a planet that we hoped would be our future. I have to contact them before it's too late. Hey, Sanchez. Yep. How about a little inspiration? Enjoy, kids. journey has us returning with more answers than questions except one question lingers in the air Who's our last contact with mission control three weeks we've lost contact with nasa and everyone else is this a glitch you really believe that i have to warn them about the conditions on earth take a deep breath there is an antenna stronger than ours. We get there, they'll hear us. Is anyone receiving this? It's gonna take a walk outside. Comms is still up. Maya, move! Do you copy? We have to get to that antenna. Move! I thought I lost you. We made a promise to our families. 
we're being asked to evacuate. Been thinking a lot about time. Why one person lives a lifetime, and another only gets a few years. Come in, Ether. This is Barbo Observatory. Are you receiving this? It's all gone. Every penny. What was your plan? My plan was to die before the money ran out, but I kept and keep not dying, and here I am. The hens are clucking. Are they saying I'm broke? They are. What about my apartment in Paris? It's just sitting empty. Have you told your mother about our engagement? We're going to Paris. Would you describe yourself as a coward? No. When I came to Paris the first time, Merci beaucoup. something sent up an alert. It was the presentiment of what was to come. We're going to lie down. Will you come visit us later? Was she paying you? Paying? Aren't you her gigolo? Oh, God, no. That's my mother. What is it? An invitation to a party. Come in. Where are the others? It's just us. I thought we might become friends. I've no need of friends in my life at the moment. You're being a dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you heard any rumors regarding my reputation? I heard that you were odd. Well, I'm more than odd. <laughs> There's a goodly part of me that wants to set this building on fire. What do you think of that? I've never been so hurt as when I saw your face for the first time. Why? Because you were me. I've always been lucky. I've been unlucky, but I have a sense that this will change suddenly and permanently. I've only been lucky, and I believe I will always be. It's such a cliche, isn't it? Someone killing themselves after the glamour has passed. Do you know what a cliche is? It's a story so fine that it's grown old in its hopeful retelling. You talk the talk, don't you? Oui, petit cochon. They broke the mold with that one. Cochon means pig. You asked me to come get you. Remember? I would never say that. Dad, you know Mom's not here. Did you forget because you're too old? Looks like a goddamn girl. Uh, did they know you were a fag in the army? You can attack me all you want, but I am not going to engage with you on that level anymore. I know what you're trying to do. I'm trying to help you, Dad. Heaven doesn't want him, and hell keeps sending him back. Let me know when you lace him up again, kid. He used to be something to see. Any advice? Yes, go home. Can I owe you a drink? You don't. I could use one. I bet you never fight in the ring again. You own me big time. I got nothing to prove. I know you don't. Do you? So you're that boy, the one that's been hanging around my daughter. Who's this little boy? Me? Look, I want you to stay, okay? Thanks, Mac. Yeah, well, it ain't over till it is.
What can I do for you? I want to build a house. These are some of the vacant sites that you have. You see, if you lend me the money and let me use a the site, then I could have that built for me and my kids. I'm really sorry. I can't help you with this. We can't go on like this. Just keep telling yourself, it's temporary. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Late three times and you got your kids here. John, please, we need this job. What are we doing, Sandra? Do you think this is good for the girls? I'm saying it, counsellor. We could try and make it work. I want to fix him, you know? I know. But there are some people you just can't. I have designed a house that costs just 35,000 euros to build. Sandra, why didn't you ask me? Your mother was far more than a cleaner to me. She was a friend. It's land going to waste. Use it. Build a house for you and your girls. All along the highway, there's a tiny <laughs> Our own house. At the bottom of the garden. Like a fairy house. <laughs> <laughs> need a hand for a few weekends over the summer if you want to help. This time I know <laughs> I'm fighting. <laughs> Sandra! Oh my god! Parties for are you going to see her dad? She's not herself. She wants to stay with me. You're lucky to me, Sandra. Skelly, you've been served. Breach of access. I'm sorry, love, but legally he has a right to go to court. What is the point of a house if I have no kids to put in it? Most of us get so sunk in our own pain, we don't notice our children's. But you did, and that makes you a good mother. You all know what he did to me. And yet you still bring me in here and you ask me questions like, why didn't you leave him? But you never ask, why didn't he stop? Hey, Mata. Hey, oi. スタート。皆さん、こんにちは。私は今ウズベキスタン共和国に来ています。本当にやりたいこととはどんどんずれてってる気がするんです。ハリティエンイングフォー <笑> すごい光景です。そのうち聞かせてよ。一度草原に戻してやったらこんなに喜ぶでしょう。まるで夢の中みたいな。<音楽><音楽><音楽>